When I opened the cooler, I saw the duck, the veal, the loin came out after, but uh, the duck's a challenge. We don't really do a lot with duck. So to get creative with duck on something that we don't do on a day-to-day -day basis, it was a challenge. Last week, we knew what we were cutting, so we were able to prepare. This week, not knowing um, what we were cutting, I was very excited coming into it, just not knowing, and I think that's part of the, the whole element of this competition. I was racking my brain on trying to figure out what proteins we were gonna get. When I came in, I saw cranberries and stuff. I thought we were gonna get a turkey, but uh, it was, happened to be the duck, but overall, it was, it was, it was fun. The most difficult part of today was actually making the decision, knowing what to do with it. Most of these products you could do a thousand items, um, so just doing what was what you're good at and then doing what you think that the judges are going to score well. Um, this round was probably, I mean the preliminary rounds were easy, it was all pork, three muscles that we use every day. But uh, today was a little more difficult, uh, I mean half an hour goes by really fast. The final round was tough. It was an adrenaline rush. You know, we're up against some really talented butchers, the top three in Ontario. It was great to see the different skill and cuts that all these guys presented today. There's a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge standing behind these tables. So really have to step up your game to, to bring it up to that level. The theme, at first I was a little bit uh, hesitant, really not sure what to expect, but then I decided that everything that I put on my plate, being Deja food, um, I want everybody that was here to say, hey, I know that product, I know how to cook it it's sellable and uh, yeah I've seen that before. The approach today really I just came in really relaxed thinking that you know whatever they give us we're gonna have fun between the three competitors and you got to meet some new people that's really my approach. It's a real honor to represent my company and all the guys that stand behind us this year it's been a really tough year 2020 so to put something on the table to stand up for them and the rest of the guys that are here we've all been through it uh, it was a great experience. So I just really want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for Fortinos for the support. Thank you for all the sponsors here. Thanks to Meat and Poultry Ontario for putting on an amazing event. I'm really proud that I was able to be here and to represent and uh, bring home the title. Thank you.